there, and welcome to Ask Dr. Stacy. I am Dr. Stacy Cooper, health and wellness expert at drstacycooper.com, and welcome to the Ask Dr. Stacy show. I have also founder of Lifestyle Balance Solutions, creator of the Healthy Eating Blueprint and the Balance Living Academy, as well as their Beef book. So on Dr. Stacy um, for over six weeks now. And you can always subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just go to Dr. Stacy Cooper on YouTube and all of our previous episodes will be available there for you. You can also check it out on our Lifestyle Balance Solutions Facebook page as well. So I do encourage you, if you find value from the information that I'm providing, please like and share so that we can spread the word. And as you join us here on the chat, then I can see your comments. So be sure, this is a live Q&A. Ask me anything that you want to know about fueling your body better for better body function naturally. That's what I would love to share with you today. So let us know where you're joining us from, and we'd love to see who shows up here for us. As I said, the Lifestyle Balance Solutions page is on Facebook. Two is where all of these previous episodes are uploaded and available for you to watch at any time that is at your convenience. Now, on our previous episode, I did talk about movement at work. So, if you're fueling your body with, because you can eat well. 100% of the time, but if other areas of your life are stressed, then your body still won't function optimally. And I'm all about balancing the function of the body, not just balancing your food intake. So we did talk about movement at work, and you can find that previous episode, as I mentioned, on the YouTube channel or on the Facebook page. So movement at work, we spend a lot of time, many, many people sitting at our desks. And when you don't use it, you lose it. And studies have shown that the longer that you sit at a desk, then the less neurological stimulation gets sent to the muscles of the legs. Circulation decreases, muscle tone and tension decreases as well. And none of these are good or a benefit for your <laughs> There's your body. So there are extra right at your desk to stimulate blood flow, improve that venous return so you have reduced swelling in the legs and feet and have your body function better even though you're at work. So today we're going to be sharing again about healthy grains. I've talked about other grains as well. We've covered already amaranth, buckwheat, quinoa, shared some recipes as well and uh Teff, we talked about a grain teff as well. And today it's going to be brown rice that I'm going to share with you the benefits of brown rice. So that's what I'm going to share today. Um, many gluten free grains are really important for the body. Gluten is an inflammatory agent in the body. So you can reduce pain and inflammation in your body through the foods that you eat. And by eliminating gluten, grains, and things like that, to, to better pain and inflammation that is created through the gluten. So when we're talking about a gluten-free diet, there you do have to be careful because um, Dr. William Davis, he's the author of the Wheat Belly book. And I was fortunate enough to attend a number of presentations provided by him. And a question was raised at the presentation. He went through all the um, reasons why wheat was not great for your system and how we interacts with your system and with your brain actually in the addiction center and creates cravings. And so in the end, food manufacturers know that a niche has been created for gluten-free foods. And so the question was asked, what about gluten-free products? His answer was cigarette. We all know that smoking is bad for you and detrimental to your health. So liken wheat to a cigarette. He said, so consider gluten-free products to be a cigarette with a filter. It's still a cigarette. It's still bad for you. The reason is, is that a lot of the gluten-free products are made with simple fuels, um, tapioca starch, potato starch, and white rice flour. These are highly processed flours, which are broken down into their simplest building blocks. And we've talked about complex fuels in previous episodes and how vital complex fuels are because they decrease the spiking of the insulin levels and, and help to maintain 
maintain regular blood sugar levels when you that are already down on the nurturing digestive blood. This is the diabetic connection. And this is the reason why gluten-free products in boxes and bags on shelves are not healthy for your system. So you want complex fuels, foods that are in their whole state, so that your body actually has to chew them, digest them, get them into the stomach, the digestive enzymes there, break them down further into their simplest building blocks, which then creates the gradual flow into the bloodstream. They're spiking of maintaining a home. This reduces the stress on the pancreas and the insulin. This is what when you're a gluten-free diet. So gluten-free products are not necessarily the way to go. But gluten, there is issues with that and the inflammation involved with it. So gluten-free grains and things that you swap out for better choices is a great way to go. So that's what I help to show you is how to swap out the bad fuels for great fuels to use to have your better thing, the benefits of it. It is a new tower that you can use in many different fashions. So it's a useful grain for a gluten-free diet. Because of its mild flavor and good texture, it makes it a suitable for a wide range of dishes. So rice is one of the most important grains for anyone on a gluten-free diet because its high starchy carbohydrate content is a vital source of energy. So carbohydrates are important for your body for a natural source of energy. So that's important. Now, while r white rice contains few nutrients because it's often been stripped, brown rice has several nutritional benefits. It's a good source of dietary fiber to help reduce cholesterol and combat heart disease. So this is really important. It also has a lower GI, that's a glycemic index, than many other grains. So what this means is, is that brown rice does take longer to digest, which means it's a slower increase in blood sugar levels, which means it has a lower glycemic index, which is a very good thing. That's what you're looking for. Brown rice also contains some amino acids, lysine and tryptophan. Remember, there are nine essential amino acids that we have to get from our diet because our bodies can't manufacture them on its own. So it needs to be obtained from the diet. So brown rice has the amino acid lysine and tryptophan available in it. These are vital for building important proteins within the body. It also contains vitamin E and a range of B vitamins, both of which can be in short supply in those not eating fortified wheat breads. I don't recommend wheat in any fashion, and so this is a great substitute to get some of those B vitamins. There's also several minerals, including selenium and magnesium, available in brown rice. So this is really important. So the benefits of brown rice, because it's a moderate, moderate, sorry, moderately low GI glycemic index, this helps to control sugar patients. And because of the fiber content in brown rice too, the absorption system, because your digestive enzymes have to get through the fiber, this too aids in decreasing the glycemic index. Also, fiber is very, very important for the body for the colon health. So good B vitamin content to convert food into energy and keep the nervous system healthy. This is another benefit. It's antioxidant mineral selenium, which helps to protect against some cancers. And we're always looking for this benefit. Brown rice is high in magnesium for a healthy heart and bone density. Magnesium is really important in bone health. So that is a great benefit as well. Now, practical tips. Did you know rice has been a staple food for half of the world That's for but it arrived in North ago. So it's for main dishes or for risottos and puddings. It's very versatile. And you can also use rice noodles 
in substitution for your pasta, for your wheat pasta. So if you want to enjoy your Italian dinner, swap out the wheat pasta for brown rice noodles. Here you're getting a healthy fuel for your body, eliminating the wheat and still enjoying your favorites. And that's what I love to help you with. It's also ideal for Asian dishes and soups as well. You can just add it to soups and have that be your noodles instead as brown rice. So use brown rice flour to make great desserts and cookies and to thicken sauces and sweet and savory dishes. And that's what I do as well, is swap out the wheat flour for other flours. We talked about chickpea flour in previous episodes, amaranth flour, brown rice flour. I also use those in baking. And I combine them. I combine the flours together to get the consistency that I would like for loaves and cookies and things like that. So it's great to experiment and just work on things like that. You can also find them in my recipe book too, which is available on my website, the Healthy Fuels Cookbook. So ice flake or ridge, this will be a great way to get more fiber into your system and eliminating the wheat. Now rice will store in cool, dark, dry conditions in an airtight container for several months. So it's, you know, it's not processed. Um, has a great shelf life and is a great nutritional value as we in what I've shared with you. So I always welcome your comments. Anytime we talked about brown rice and the benefits of it and how good it is for your body and how to swap out bad fuels for great healthy fuels so that your body can function better. You can always reach me directly by email. Just go to Dr. Stacy at drstacycooper.com. You can connect directly through my website there. And I'd love to hear from you. Any questions, comments that you would like covered. And also, when you're at my website there, I have a free two-part video series. This is called Eliminate Your Five Hidden Energy Drainers. And here I share with you for free healthy living tips, simple steps that you can begin to implement into your daily lifestyle to boost your energy levels naturally. There may be some things in your daily life that you may be consuming that you think are actually boosting your energy. And in true fact, they're actually decreasing your energy. Caffeine is one of them. So have a take a two-part series there. There's also a mind map, a prominent place in the kitchen as a gentle reminder to help keep you on track of balancing your body for better body function. So you can always visit me there at drstacycooper.com where all of these healthy living tips are found. My blog is also there where you'll find more recipes, healthy living tips, exercises, and links to the videos of Ask Dr. Stacy. So thank you for joining me. And as always, here's to your better body function and enhanced vitality naturally. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you again soon.